Saints hosting the Buccaneers, and the Saints are three and a half point favorites. The over under is at 39 and a half points. The Bucks are plus 152 on the money line, and the Saints are minus 180. Both of these teams are two and one to start out the year. The Bucks are two and one against the spread, and the under is two and one in the three games they've played. The Saints are zero two and one against the spread, and the under is a perfect three and zero in the games in which they've played in. Now, will Derek Carr play in this game? That is the million dollar question because he's listed as questionable, and getting Jameis Winston or getting Derek Carr, you know, two different teams with or without him. Now the Bucks are 5 and 5 in their last 10 games. They are 3 and 7 against the spread and the over under is 5 and 5 in their last 10 games. They beat the Vikings 20 to 17, beat the Bears 27-7 and then lost to the Eagles 25-11. There really was no surprise there. Ultimately, we see the same Baker Mayfield circle where he plays good for a game or two, then looks like shit and then we see the same process repeat. Now for the Saints, they're 6 and 4 in their last 10. 4-5-1 and one against the spread. The under is 9-1 and one in their last 10 games. They beat the Titans 16-15, to 15, beat the Panthers 20-17. to 17. I was a little bit upset about that game because I bet them and then the Panthers scored a late, a last-minute touchdown that killed a, a ticket. And then fell apart last week after Carr came out of the game, giving up 18 points in the fourth quarter and losing 18-17. to 17. Now, head-to-head, the Bucks are on a two-game winning streak, although the Saints are 7-3 and three against the Bucks in their last 10. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five and five against the spread. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The under has hit in their last three games they've played against each other, and the under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. But the over 39.5 is 7-3 and three in their last 10. Now, I do understand that they haven't seen a game that's gone that high in their last three, and, you know, that's kind of been because the Saints haven't had a quarterback in those games. So the last game they played, the Bucs won 17-16. The game before that, they won 20-10. The game before that, the Saints won 9-0. As weird as this is to say, I trust a healthy Baker Mayfield versus whatever it is that the Saints are going to throw out there at quarterback. I'm going to take the Bucs on the money line. I'm going to take the Bucs getting the points. And I do think that this is going to be one of those games that are going to go over just because the over-under is so low. Now, I could be wrong and... You know, we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.